high fans of high quality entertainment and comedy movies. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to talk about comedy movies. And what inspired me was I was once again watching bits of Mike Myers' movie, The Love Guru, on YouTube. I haven't seen the whole movie. I don't know if I ever want to, but that's what inspired me to do this video. And at first it was going to be, what is the worst comedy movie of all time? And then I thought, well, I'll also incorporate what are the best, what is, what is your, calm down there. I want to ask my viewers, just one movie each, what is the worst comedy movie, like, well, no, not one of these stupid cult movies, but a, by a well-known actor, you know, in the lead, what is the worst comedy movie you've ever seen, and what is the best, just one? You can name other, other movies too, but what is your all-time favorite comedy movie? So, I'm going to go through the list. I will start with my favorite comedy movies that I've seen. And actually, when I made the list, I forgot some. I was looking through my DVD and Blu-ray collection, and there's some... <laughs> there's one movie, actually, that I have not seen yet. Three Amigos with Steve Martin, Chevy Chase, and Martin Short. I'm waiting for my love to be with me to watch this. We are huge fan, well, huge fans of Steve Martin, but especially Martin Short. I think he might be, I think he might be my favorite uh, comedian of all time. We're right, 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 right up there. Uh, I don't think this was on my list. Meet the Parents. The other two that came after it, I didn't find that funny. But this one is a classic to me. Napoleon Dynamite, I love. Step Brothers, overall. I mean, there, there were some hits and misses in it. But overall, I, I found it very, very funny. This has a special place in my heart, and it might be uh, somebody I know very well. It might be her favorite comedy movie of all time, and that's right up there with me too. This made, uh, yeah, Jiminy Glick in La La Wood. It had a, on Rotten Tomatoes, it had a 22% <laughs> rating, and this movie made $36,000 at the box office. It didn't do too well. It's, I think it's called a, it, I don't even know if you can call it a cult classic because, <laughs> but Martin Short is hilarious in this. And, yeah, that's it. Okay. Other, mo other comedy movies that I absolutely love are Steve Martin in The Jerk, Christmas Vacation, of course, Austin Powers. Uh, the first two movies I, I really love. The, the third one, Gold Member, it has its moments, but it's not a favorite of mine. Uh, Airplane, and of course, Top Secret, which isn't as well known, but it's hilarious. Laurel and Hardy, gotta go back to the old days. Uh, blockbust, blockbusters, any of their their feature films are hilarious. Ghostbusters, there's something about Mary, one of my all-time favorites. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, it almost made my number one. The 40-Year-Old Virgin, Young Frankenstein, Ghostbusters. Uh, Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead, directed by Edgar Wright. And he, as some of you may know, uh, has completed the Sparks documentary called 
The Sparks Brothers, and it's coming out soon. The, the third movie he did, something about the end of the world, I did not, I was really disappointed in that. I don't know about you, let me know. Maybe I should watch it again, because I only watched it once, and that was like six years ago. This is Spinal Tap, with one of, one of my other favorite comedians of all time, Christopher Guest. Dumb and Dumber. Monty Python, all three of the movies. Holy Grail, uh, The Holy Grail, Life of Brian, The Meaning of Life. When you print, don't waste paper, okay? A tree died for this piece of paper. Okay, that's my comedy. Now, my, so, I think, Yeah, I didn't mention these yet, because there's three of them. I love The Best in Show. Great cast of characters. Uh, yeah. Eugene Levy, Catherine O'Hara, Fred Willard, also one of my favorite comedians. And, of course, Christopher Guest. And they would make the script and then they would ad lib you know throughout the movie sometimes and it's just hilarious and a mighty wind the same cast of characters once again hilarious but i think my my all-time favorite comedy movie is Waiting for Guffman with Christopher Guest and all those other people I just mentioned. <laughs> There's a good reason some talent remains undiscovered. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Now, for the worst comedy movie that I've seen, before I mention my choice, uh, like I said, The Love Guru, I've seen bits of it, and it is so bad. And I was almost thinking, I have a Patreon channel now, and I was almost thinking at some point, I should watch for my patrons one of these really bad movies, and they can enjoy it with me. <laughs> <laughs> but The Love Guru with Mike Myers. On Rotten Tomatoes, the... I told her never to message me when I'm doing a video. On Rotten Tomatoes, the uh, critics gave it a 14% rating and the public a 33% rating. Another really bad one, I've only seen bits of it on YouTube and it looks bad too, is The Master of Disguise with Dana Carvey. Uh, the, the critics give it a 1% rating, which I think is the lowest. You can't go much lower than 1%. But the, uh, the public gave it a 34% rating, one more than The Love Guru. Freddy Got Fingered, which I've never seen, I've just seen little clips of it on YouTube. Uh, by with Tom Green and I like Tom Green I loved his show back in the day uh, so the critics gave it a 10% rating but the public gave it a 56% rating because I think he was trying to make a bad movie and he succeeded and that's what I guess makes it funny is it's so bad but I don't want to see it and another one I've not seen I've just seen little Clips once again on YouTube, and I didn't laugh once. Holmes and Watson with Will Ferrell and John C. Riley. It has a 10% rating, 
and a 25% rating by the public. So even the public didn't care for it too much. But I would say the comedy movie, my least favorite that I remember, <laughs> that I've seen at the theater, my friend Dave, some of you might remember my friends Dave and Will. Well, I think Will came, to, came along too. And he paid for it. Thanks, Dave. Thanks a lot. I think the worst comedy movie I've seen at the theater, too, is Blended with Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore from 2014. It has a 14% rating by the critics and a 64% rating by the public. Oh. But yeah, I don't think I enjoyed the popcorn. I don't think I laughed once. It was a very colorful movie. That's one thing I remember. And I'm colorblind with red and green, but it was like, wow. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was bad. I should sue Dave. So that's it. Uh, I would really love, you know, just mention some of your favorite and least favorite comedy movies, but pick. What to you is your all-time favorite comedy movie and what is the worst comedy movie that you've seen that is, you know, known by the general public? So that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Check out my Patreon, by the way. Oh, I'm doing... Uh, I'm listening to George Harrison's Gone Tropo this weekend on Patreon, and you can hear it along with me. Bye.